Chinese Whispers Once there was a boy named Gattu who was working at a small local bank as a sweeper. He was not happy with his job as the owner of the bank had not paid him a single penny since his joining. One day, Gattu was sweeping the steps of the bank and grumbling to himself. He broomed the stairs hurriedly and started banging his pan against a dustbin. Just then, upon listening to the banging sounds, his friend Ram Charan, the milkman's son who was passing by, stopped his bicycle and said, "Hey Gattu, what happened? Why are you banging pan like this?" "Hmm, nothing." Have they still not paid your salary? Don't talk to me regarding this. I don't want to talk about it. I haven't even received my regular pay. Soon, my two months pay will be due. That's not fair. Who would think this was a bank holding up a poor man's salary? Why don't you leave this job? As soon as I get my money, I will leave the job and work somewhere else. You don't need to worry. I'll also look out for a new job for you. Saying this, Ram Charan went to deliver milk to his customers. Mrs. Verma, who was a teacher by profession, was on her way to school. Ram Charan overheard the women saying how difficult it was to get someone to sweep the courtyard. He interrupted and said, "My friend Gattu is looking for a job. Currently, he is working as a sweeper at NBT Bank." but they are not giving him his required dues so he want to leave his job he might be able to work for you from next month but after that he can definitely continue working for you but why aren't they paying him the bank must be short of funds is it so anyways tell him to meet me when he is free thank you so much madam mrs verma left for the school but on her way She had to meet her friend Mrs Sharma. They decided to meet at a coffee house in Sadar Bazaar. They meet and greet each other very well. Both of them were discussing their lives. All of a sudden they had exhausted the subject and Mrs Verma said, "Do you know NBT Bank can't even pay its employees. They hadn't released the salaries of their employees for the last 2 months. I think the bank is about to dissolve. It will be declared bankrupt soon." I heard all this from their sweeper. Oh god, this is disgraceful. Can't they pay their sweepers? This show that they must be out of funds. Anyway, wait here. I'll be back in 5 minutes. I have to hand over this bag to my husband. His shop is nearby. Okay, come soon. I am waiting. Saying this, She went to his husband's shop. Her husband was playing cards with owners of the other shops. She handed over the bag to him and started grumbling. I don't understand what's wrong with this town. The heat is too bad that the whole town soon be on fire. Not only this, the Anbiti Bank is also going to be bankrupt. Listening to this, both the men stand out of their chairs and said, "What? What?" Are you serious? Yes. Don't you know? They have stopped paying salaries to their employees for over 3 months. Mr. Kumar, do you have an account with them? Yes, I have an account with them. I just can't understand. What should I do? No. I have the bank's owner number. Let me call and confirm this with him. Mr Kumar dialed his number someone picked up the call and said that he is out of town and he has no information about his arrival listening to those words Mr Kumar's face turned pale he fell down on the street and said the bird has flown he has left the town definitely it means a collapse the news spread through the bazaar with the rapidity of a forest fire Everyone on the market decided to go to the bank to get back their hard-earned money. Men stood in groups at different corners discussing the situation. Some boasted of their far-sightedness whereas some thanked God for having taken out their money. The bank manager came out of the branch and tried to resolve the matter. 
He assured them that their money is safe with bank and all the employees are getting their salaries on time. Only some part-time workers are getting their salaries late, but that doesn't mean the bank has not enough money. Actually, the clerk who looks after their salaries isn't well. He's on sick leave. Once he'll be back, the part-time workers will be paid too. Though the manager tried to explain his point, no one was ready to listen and accept the truth. Instead, they started throwing stones on him. Gripped with fear, he closed the iron gate and went inside the bank. After some time, everyone dispersed, shouting that they would be back tomorrow. Next morning, when Gattu arrived to sweep the steps of the bank, he saw everything broken, glass, plants, everything around. He couldn't believe his eyes. He too started cursing the bank owner for his deeds, for not paying him regularly. He was cleaning everything. Then Ram Charan came and said, I have found a new job for you. You can join there from the first of the next month. Now, you don't have a choice as the bank is closing soon. What? What are you saying? The bank is closing? Haven't you heard about it? The bank has gone bankrupt. I will pray that you may get your money back. Saying this, he waved towards Gattu and walked away. Gattu sat down on the stairs to await the arrival of the manager. He thought, Who would have thought that the bank would collapse? I wonder how it could this have happened?